Thank you for listening to the show on Really Big Something Channel. June 1st, 2018. The Kuna Report is powered by Kelly Financial Services. Cleaning up your financial bull. Get the peace of mind that you deserve at Kelly Financial Services. 104 here on the great WRKO. Okay, my friends, you just heard Evan Heidenrich. I want to repeat what he said. So, Samantha B, they are now glorifying her, celebrating her, uh, not just in Hollywood. The mainstream media is defending her. Democrats are defending her. Liberals are defending her. Uh, they're saying, in fact, she should have said harsher words about Ivanka Trump, not just call her a feckless C uh, regarding her father's policies on immigration. Now, the president himself, obviously now, as any father would, his daughter being attacked in the most vile, disgusting way possible, has now come out and come to his daughter's defense. And he's making a very obvious, to me, almost like the sky is blue argument. Okay, I mean, an obvious argument. Quote, uh, here's what he tweeted out. Why aren't they firing no talent Samantha B for the horrible language used on her low ratings show? Uh, that's what he said on his Twitter account. A total double standard, but that's okay. We are winning and we will be doing so for a long time to come. Now, she almost never comments on any public issues, but even Melania Trump, Ivanka Trump's stepmother, has now rushed to the defense of Ivanka. By the way, no feminist so far has come to the defense of Ivanka. Not one. Not one. Not one prominent liberal feminist has come out and said, you should not be calling a woman the C word in public. You got a problem with her father's policies, you attack the father. But you don't attack the daughter. So far, no one except for one independent, I wouldn't call her really a liberal, she's more of an independent, I'll get to that in a second, but Melania Trump, who never speaks out on public issues, never, okay, she's a very private first lady, um, had her press secretary, Stephanie Grisham, and her communications director, issue a direct statement on behalf of Melania Trump, in response to Samantha B calling Ivanka Trump a feckless C. Quote, time and again, the Trump family and members of this administration are subjected to false reporting, hateful rhetoric, and outrageous lies, all in the name of freedom of speech or comedy. Yet the mainstream media stay silent. The double standard is truly astounding. When Trump says we're winning and we're going to continue to win, can I be honest with you? Like I'm in the confessional? I think what he senses is that the country now is being revolted by liberal Hollywood. I think the country now clearly sees that an injustice was done to Roseanne Barr. I I'm telling you, I think they look at this and they say, whoa, 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 whoa. So hold on now. One tweet... And according to the head of Disney ABC, Ben Sherwood, that is unforgivable. And you can never redeem yourself for one tweet. But this woman, this, this no talent, left wing, feminist, anti Trump comedian on her show can talk about the president's daughter. First of all, to me, can I be honest? Even worse than calling her the C word. I don't want nobody's been picking up on this. She's saying that they have an incestuous relationship, or she's strongly implying it. She's saying, put on a really tight outfit, really low skirt, okay, short skirt, wiggle your you-know-what in front of your father, because you have influence, because daddy wants to sleep with his little daughter. You, you know, feckless C. So you can basically imply that she wants to have sex with her father, incest, and that she's a C. And the country's saying, not only does she get to keep her job, she A, walks back her apology, and they give her an award? Hollywood gives her a TV Academy Award for being an inspirational person to everybody? And they're lionizing and celebrating her? And then they're coming out and saying, no, 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 no. 
She should have called her much worse than the C word. What's the problem with calling her a C word? It's insulting to the C word. I'm telling you, they're losing the country on this. They got their scalp. They've won their battle with Roseanne Barr. But in terms of the larger war, you are going to see now a tremendous backlash against political correctness. It's already been brewing and brewing and brewing. But I'm telling you, this baby could open up the dam. And by the way, while we're on the topics of political correctness and double standards, why does Joy Reid still have a job? It's you know I'm almost going to call this segment now the Reed Report. Every day there's something new and outrageous about that left wing uh, anti Trump hater, uh, Joy Reed. Some new outrage. So not only listen to this, not only are they finding out even more homophobic comments that she made. Not only are they finding out now that she lied about saying that somebody hacked into her blog and wrote those comments. So not only did she mislead the public, lie, call for an FBI investigation, waste law enforcement resources, engage in three years of sickening homophobic comments. We find out now she's a 9-11 truther, at least she was, saying that George Bush was responsible for 9-11, not al-Qaeda and not Osama bin Laden. Now they found something else. Apparently on her blog, she was um, engaging in photoshopping, putting John McCain's head upon the body of the Virginia Tech shooter. Saying, ah, ha, ha, ha. you see, it's Republicans that shoot up schools. Ha, 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 ha. What does this woman have to do before they fire her? Instead, nothing. And it's not just Jeff Cooner. Listen now to this, and I want to give a big hat tip to Breitbart. Because somebody, you know, somebody's got to stand up for these uh, 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 poor people in the gay community when you have them being demonized the way Joy Reid demonized them for years. So, I thought homophobia was a sin. They go after conservatives for homophobia all the time. I thought homophobia was now one of the worst crimes you can commit. Not... If you're a left winger at MSNBC, no, 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 no. So I never heard of this guy. Let me be very honest with you. I don't care for porn. I don't know porn. And I certainly don't know gay porn. Okay. But apparently in the gay porn industry, this guy's like, I don't know, Tom Cruise or something. He's a legend. Michael Lucas. Never heard of this guy. Anyway, he's apparently a gay pornographic film actor and apparently an acclaimed director. He is now on the record telling Breitbart that the double standard and hypocrisy in the entertainment industry is sickening. He actually says there are two sets of rules that you can clearly see by the firing of Roseanne Barr. And so what he said is as, as following. This, by the way, he refers to Joy Reid as a lying homophobe. So, quote, Roseanne was fired swiftly for her disgusting racist comments. So why wasn't Joy Reid when she made her disgusting homophobic comments, asked Lucas. I think the answer is simple. Roseanne Barr is an outspoken Trump supporter, while Joy is an influential left-wing political commentator with a huge following. And she's a rabid anti-Trumper. That's the key, Lucas. So here's what Lucas now says. He and the entire gay community, especially the gay porn community, have now concluded, quote, you can get away with homophobia as long as you are a liberal propagandist with a big mouth. Now, for the record, and let's cue this up, Brittany, for when we do teases of the show, okay? When we run teases of the show on WRKO. I stand with the LGBTQ community. I stand with the gay porn actors. On this one, I'm with the gay porn actor. Okay? Michael Lucas. I'm, you can quote me on it. On this one, I'm with the gays. I'm with them all the way, and I'm with this gay porn actor, director, legend, whatever he is. I'm with Michael on this one. He is completely freaking right. If you're a liberal propagandist, you can engage in the most sickening, vile, despicable, uh, homophobic rants and comments, and they cover up for you. 
not just at MSNBC, the entire mainstream media. But if you're a conservative, one word, one statement, one tweet, one Facebook post, you name it, and it doesn't matter, 30 years of your career, and by the way, Roseanne Barr, for most of her career, not that I care about her, Roseanne Barr was a liberal Democrat. Roseanne Barr was a liberal. Roseanne Barr brought African Americans into the cast. Roseanne Barr was well known to be a champion and a friend of African American actors. This is what I find mind blowing. So one tweet overturns a lifetime of what someone has done, how many people they've helped, their entire career. Now, I think the backlash now is so big and so immense. Here is my prediction. People now are rallying to Roseanne. She is now actually a martyr. She's actually now a victim. I think now most of America feels sorry for her. The way she's being treated. And notice this about the liberals. Notice they always go on about bullying. Bullying, bullying, bullying. Oh, school bullying. When I, when I challenged Elizabeth Warren here when she came to WRKO, right away the Boston Globe ran an editorial. <gasps> Cooner asked her a tough question. He bullied her. Always bullying, 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 bullying. You know why? It's classic projection. They're the bullies. Look how they're bullying her. This is true bullying. I think the country now clearly sees this. Here's my prediction, and this is my advice to Roseanne. You should go to Fox, Fox Network, not Fox News, and say, you know what? You want a highly successful sitcom? You want a sitcom that's going to blow everything out of, the, uh, out of the water in terms of the ratings? You want massive revenue? You want a show that's going to make you hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars? Take up my show. ABC doesn't own it. They've canceled it. I think she has the rights to the show. If she has the rights to the show, I would go to Fox Network or any other network and say, you want to make some serious money? Let's make some serious money. Because I'm telling you, not that I watch TV, I would DVR her show. I would record her show and give her the ratings just to support and back her and stick it to Hollywood. And let me just say one final point. You want to add insult to injury? Listen to this baby. When she was begging Ben Sherwood... Okay, the Disney ABC head of TV. Please, I'll do anything. I will do anything. Don't cancel the show. Don't fire all those people who are going to lose their jobs. She also revealed that they're canceling. They've pulled back all of the reruns of Roseanne. And you know what they replaced them with? Take a guess. Take a guess. I asked this to Brittany. Brittany couldn't figure it out. I go, come on, take a guess. You want to see irony upon irony? The Cosby Show. They have pulled back, they've pulled all of the reruns of Roseanne, and just to stick it to her, and replaced it with Cosby. In other words, they'd rather run reruns of a guy who's a convicted rapist then now run reruns of Roseanne Barr because she committed the most unforgivable sin of all. She insulted the cult of Obama. Unlike Cosby, she votes for Donald Trump. You want to see Trump derangement syndrome? This is it in all of its glory. 617-266-6868. Samantha B. Trump wants the show canceled. Melania Trump says it's disgusting. Will Samantha B. lose her show? Should she lose her show? And Cooner Country, what do we do next? Thank you for listening to the show on Really Big Something Channel. 123 here on the great WRKO. Okay, listen to Fox Business Network's 
Um, Kennedy, she's very, very good. Uh, discuss Samantha B using the most vile word imaginable and saying, where's the outrage on the left? Roll it, Brittany. Samantha B used the most vile word imaginable in a crude and an artful attempt to get Ivanka Trump to sway her dad's immigration policies leftward. But you don't see the same level of outrage over her malicious name calling. And she will most likely just wade out the storm safely hunkered in the TBS bunker. So when are words deeds? And when does social media betray your true ugly intentions? Why do some people get a pass and others get dumped on and permanently tainted with gallons of the crowd's vitriol? Part of it is the political crouch and the obligation to defend people from the same tribe and minimize and rationalize their sins all while demonizing the other side for the exact same thing. We may be on different sides of an oozing chasm, but we cannot have it both ways. So either lives are ruined and heads will roll, or we develop thicker skin and accept the apologies of dummies even when we despise their words, their deeds, and their obvious flaws. The choice is ours, but we have to pick a side. And that's the memo. Bingo. She nailed it. I mean, she really nailed it. And the Democrats now, they want to have their cake and eat it too, or the libs. The liberals want their cake and eat it too. They want to destroy people for tweets they don't like, or because they don't like their political views i.e. Roseanne Barr, they're Trump supporters, and the haters of Trump, they can get away with all kinds of vile, disgusting bigotry because they're our tribe, my tribe, my tribe, my tribe. 617-266-6868. Okay, lines are loaded. Jeff in North Andover, you're up next. Go ahead, Jeff. Hello, Jeff. Did we lose Jeff? Jeff, okay. Skippy and Southie, you're up next. Go ahead, Skippy. Hi, Jeff. Skippy. Before I go to my point, just want to say, the mental disorder liberalism just proves the people believe there's no moral absolute. But as far as Samantha B, I think she's entitled to an upgrade. She should be made Samantha C, because uh, all those people came homage, and the Jesus paid homage, <laughs> trying to talk about that word. Now, Sally Field, God, when I was a kid, she played Sister Patrol as a flying nun. Now I'm hearing to make comments like a sea is a warm, is warm and has great depth. Who would know the, sl- the slime then would become a gynecologist? But also, Jeff, uh, all these people in that crowd, they've they, they got to be out of their minds to make such, pay homage to her, pay homage to the world. Thank you very much for that call, Skippy. By the way, these are the same ones that are outraged about that Billy Bush tape? You know, when Trump said, you know, you know these, these, uh, um, uh, you know, these, uh, what do you call them, these groupies. You know, they fall, you just, they'll do anything, you just grab them by the pee. They're like, oh my God, how do you say that? It's disgusting. You call his daughter a C? Hey, hey, should have said much worse. It's nothing. Or as Sally Fields put it, it's not just that it's warm and has depth. It's powerful. It's beautiful, according to her. It's a compliment to be called a C. <laughs> Wee Okay, Wayne in Southie. You're up next. Go ahead, Wayne. Jeff Cooler, what's up, buddy? I Wayne, to... buddy, how are you? Yeah, yesterday I didn't really get to say because it was real. It was at the end of the show, but um, I wanted to say to you that um, we we did something. But again, I I got a guy and um, he just ran for senator and he got the um, he's a Democratic senator. He comes from Southie. His name's Nick Collins, but he's working on legislation. To try to get that guy fairly out of office. Okay, Wayne, what? I want to let you know about that. No, I, that but guy, Wayne, what does this have to do with Samantha B? Oh, Samantha B. Oh, you know me. I don't. I, that lady. Just hearing her voice annoys me, Jeff. You know what I mean? <laughs> With each of the words in box, Jeff, I work in this industry. You know what I mean? And I know how hard it is. Believe me, it is hard. Liberalism is out of control in in the Hollywood. Uh, amen. You know you're right. And they, and, know and, me. I, they know I'm a drop dead U.S. Marine conservative. You know what I mean? Well, that's why I told you yesterday, Wayne, be careful on the Twitter account. I Watch those a, tweets, buddy. That's good. It, Jeff. That's good. God it's bless just, you, my friend. Natalie, you're up next. Go ahead, Natalie. Hey, Jeff, I just wanted to point out that of all places, CNN's Brooke Baldwin gave a very eloquent 
condemnation of Samantha B and her hypocrisy in using that kind of rhetoric to condemn uh, Ivanka Trump. And oh, I didn't I, know that. Okay, that good, out. good. She did a great job. I have to give her credit. And also, I, the thing that strikes me about the comment, and it's being downplayed because everybody's so shocked that she crossed that taboo about the C word, how sick and depraved are these leftist minds where they see a beautiful woman like Ivanka Trump, so they just have to presume that her father lusts after her. I think it's disgusting. I think it says a lot about where their minds are at, how in the gutter they are that they think that, and that they're having all of these ideas and fantasies dancing around their brains. It's just, it's really sick. Nobody's addressing that, but I find that really striking and how that's been going on for months. It says a lot, you know, they say it says a lot more about them than it does about Ivanka or her father. Uh, uh, Natalie, great call as always. Nat Natalie, call again, please. Oh, Jeff, you have no idea. It's hard <laughs> to get through. <laughs> God bless you, Natalie. You too, Jeff. Bill in Newton, you're up next. Go ahead, Bill. Okay, Jeff, uh, let me turn the radio off here. I'm sorry. Um, this, there's a distinction between what Samantha B, uh, B said and what uh, Roseanne said. What, what Samantha, the, the term that Samantha B used, the C word, uh, could refer to any woman, any ethnicity, any race. She could be an Eskimo, she could be European, she could be African, she could be Asian. It's a, it's, a, it's a horrible term, it's vile, it's vicious, but it, it's, it doesn't, any woman could be, and it could have that term used against her. Whereas with Valerie Jarrett and uh, Roseanne, that, that remark has, that she made, Roseanne made, is tinged with uh, a, a certain ethnic, a certain race. The Bill, can you do me a favor? I don't want to rush your comment because I think you're trying to make a very important point. Can you hold on? We've got to do a news break and we'll take this up after the, after the news. Oh, I'd love to. Yeah. Okay. Hang on, Bill. Okay. My friends, uh, we'll continue to take your calls. 617-266-6868 is being, was Roseanne's tweet worse than Samantha B calling Ivanka Trump a feckless C? We'll discuss that. A top North Korean official is delivering a personal letter from Kim Jong-un, the rocket man, to President Trump. Evan Heidenrich is in the RKO newsroom with those details. Take it away, Evan. Thank you for listening to the show on Really Big Something Channel. You know, Ivanka, that's a beautiful photo of you and your child. But let me just say, one mother to another, do something about your dad's immigration practices, you f 137 here on the great WRKO. Okay, my friends, backlash is continuing to build against Samantha B. The president has now called for her to be fired, saying if Roseanne Barr had to go, Samantha B should go. However, Hollywood is resisting. They are now rallying around Samantha B. They have actually given her an award for being an inspirational person. And now the Hollywood left says they love her. She's a hero of the resistance, and they're saying that Samantha B should have called Ivanka Trump something even worse than the C-word. So we were talking with Bill. Bill is from Newton. He was making the point that if you refer to the C for a woman, it could be for a white woman, an Eskimo woman, a black woman. It's not ethnic or racial. That's right. Exactly right. Exactly right. And, but what Roseanne Barr did, and then we had to go to a news break. So take it from there, Bill. Okay, I, I agree. It has nothing to do with ethnicity or race when you call a woman uh, a woman uh, th that word. But uh, with with uh, with Roseanne, it's uh, it's it's tinge, not even tinge. It's overt racism. It's a racist remark. Now I'm not. Uh, I, I, I can and can I before I hang up? Can I uh, make a comment about Joy Reid? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'm not a man of the left, nor am I a man of the right. Uh, neither. And Joy Reid, uh, I, I feel homosexuality is wrong, morally. The Apostle Paul thought, thought it was so. And, uh, you know, when you talk about homosexuals, you don't, you don't attack the person, you attack the act. 
number one. And number two, about uh, referring to Joy Reid as a t- uh, 9-11 truther. I know, uh, I don't know how to word this, but I'll, I'll do my best. Um, I think that Joy Reid is accurate, and she's not crazy. All I know is what I've seen, the presentations I've seen about 9-11 are brilliant, incisive, highly intellectual, uh, and uh, given by people who are architects and scientists, uh, uh, aeronautical engineers, architects, metallurgists, chemists, physicists, and they make a good case. So to use... So, Bill, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you're basically saying that Roseanne Barr should have been fired... No, I didn't say that. Oh, okay, you're just saying what? That was racist? It was racist. It was very grossly unkind. You shouldn't make unkind remarks about it. It, it obviously is it, referring to her. her uh, and plus, she's, a, she's, she's not black. She's a mixed race, for crying out loud. I, I, uh, it's her, I think her grandfather is black. The rest of her lineage is white. She's a mixed race person. Okay. Bill, thank you very much for that call. Look, I, really, I don't want to get into 9-11. I, I really don't. Uh, look, I don't want to get into that. That's a rabbit hole. I just don't want to go down it. Look, I, I'll just say this. Again, I, just, I find this incredible. I really do. And I see where everybody's coming from. The argument is that a racist joke or a racist tweet is worse than anything else. Right? That's the argument. The argument, well, she just called her a C. But, you know, you can call an Eskimo woman a C. You can call a white woman a C. You can call a Jewish woman, a Latino woman, a black woman a C. Well, now you're, that's gender. I'm sorry, but that's sexism. That's misogyny. I mean, that's degrading and dehumanizing to women to call them a C. So if you're going to argue, and this is the argument, right? If you're trying to compare this mixed race woman, whatever, let's just say she's black for the sake of argument. I don't, she's not, but Valerie Jarrett to a gorilla character on the planet of the apes. Well, that's racist. Well, that's sexist. So I'm sorry. What's the difference? I mean, I get it. One is making a racist joke, the other one's making a sexist joke. But the fact of the matter is, I thought racism, sexism, misogyny were all supposed to be bad and evil. So, again, it's a distinction without a difference. That's my point, and that's Donald Trump's point, and he's completely right. Look, I'm telling you right now, you know what she did? To me, what she said was much worse than Roseanne Barr, and I'll tell you why. What she said about women is the equivalent of calling a black person the N-word. You want to know the truth? That's what she said. I wouldn't, I've never called a woman that. Now, I've heard men who beat their wives or girlfriends call them that. I've heard, I mean, some real pigs refer to men like that. Sorry, refer to women like that. But Brittany was the one that said it. I mean, I agree with her. My wife, everybody. For a woman... It's the most vile thing you can call her. Think about it. You want to talk about the ultimate objectification? You see. You know what you are? You're just that. You know what's between your legs? That's it. That's what you are. You little whore. Well, that's what it really means. It's the equivalent of the N-word for women. Who are we kidding? So, again, it's this ridiculous liberal argument that somehow... A racist comment is worse than somehow a sexist comment, which, by the way, for the last 18 months with the hashtag MeToo movement, they're saying sexism and misogyny is the worst thing on the planet. But now they just did another flip. Or homophobia is the worst thing on the planet. But now, no, it's Joy Reid. Look, look at the gymnastics they're getting themselves involved in. They're turning themselves into human pretzels to defend the indefensible. It's very simple. If you're pro-Trump, you say anything, they destroy you. If you're anti-Trump, you can be as bigoted as you want, as sexist, as misogynistic, as homophobic, as transphobic, as as Islamophobic. Bill Maher. Look at the way Bill Maher goes after Muslims. No one's ever touched Bill Maher because he's one of them. Same guy, sorry, same conservative, same comments, same thing said about Islam. That conservative is out of a job. Bill Maher is considered a hero. Guys, it's obvious for the whole world to see. So what this is, is political correctness run amok. 
And I'm telling you it's liberal fascism. And I'm telling you that Roseanne Barr is now seen as a martyr as she should be. And if she was smart, give Sinclair a call, give Fox Network a call, get the show back on the air, because Jeff Cooner will do something he's never done. I'm going to record the freaking show and give you ratings, and I think tens of millions of Americans will do the same. Am I wrong? Rosalie, is it Rosalie? Rosalie in Chelmsford. Go ahead, Rosalie. Hello. Rosalie. Yeah, I'm so happy they gave her a reward, because she opened up the door to get payback. And everyone that thought she was funny, I hope they all get the same payback too. Because she was disgusting. And she opened the door, not only for their peers, their children, to do the same that she does. And I hope they all do it to everybody that thought she was so great to their face. Rosalie, do you think now more people are going to use the C word towards women because of this? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. Really? That's what a dirty mouth she has. And they're looking for anything to get publicity. And she's right there for it. Rosalie, thank you very much for that call. Brittany was in my ear saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brittany, I want to bring you on. You really think? Absolutely. Oh, really? So you're basically saying she's made it okay now to call women the C-word. Absolutely. And not to fire her or to suspend her or anything like that, just to give a little rinky-dink apology that it's they're okaying it. Come on, Jeff. That has to go through producers, through writers, and everything. So they okayed it, and they had to do this little apology to calm everybody down. And, like, people look up to women and comedians look at like little kids what example are you setting for them now it's okay to go around and call people the c-word that's what they're doing so there should be consequences for that interesting joan in andover you're up next go ahead joan well hello can you hear me Jeff? i can hear you joan can you hear oh, me yes i can uh, i'm where i'm on a cell phone so i'm just want to be concerned go about ahead that. no the connection is clear go ahead the floor okay. is yours joan Okay, I just have a one question, which is, where is the FCC in all this? Joan, that's a great question. Joan, Thank can I, you. Joan, can I be honest with you? No, really, honestly. Can I be honest yeah. with you like I'm in a confessional? Right. If I called anybody, okay, let's just say Ivanka Trump, just indulge me. I called Ivanka Trump the C word on the air. Joan, I'm gone. Right. I mean, I'm gone. If yeah. Brittany, here, Brittany, you know, I, I bring her in sometimes. Brittany, she's a woman, right? She came on the air and said, you know, Ivanka Trump is a feckless C. Gone. Gone. She's gone, and my bosses are telling me, and what did you say after she said that? <laughs> you know, because if you were laughing or something, you're gone too. Yeah. So not only would I be fired, not only would Brittany be fired, we would have, Brittany, correct me if I'm wrong, a multi-million dollar fine, Correct. Absolutely. And if you said it and I let that go, you'd be, I would fired. be fired. So someone has to lose their job. job. I mean, this. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. You're right. She violated FCC rules. Right. So where are they? Well, she's getting an Jay Joan, they gave her an award yesterday. Where are they? They gave her an award. I mean, honestly, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's, I mean either you laugh or you cry. I just got to laugh. They gave her an award. Uh, let's get one more. Brittany, please. I know we're up against it, but Jeff in North Andover. Jeff, I know we, we tried to get you on before. Can we get you on now? Jeff, are you there? Jeff. Yeah, can you hear me? Jeff, I can hear you. We made connection. Okay. Great. What's on your mind, my friend? The first thing, I have a lot of things to say. You are the best thing to come out of Canada into our country in the last 50 years. I wish you had some pull to keep people like Samantha B. out. The other thing I would say, I think you're looking at this whole issue wrong. Okay. I think that we should embrace what they're telling us. I know personally, Monday morning, I'm going to start using the C word. And every woman that I work with, because it is so empowering <laughs> and so me too, I'm going to start calling that. And on Tuesday morning, I'm going to call you for a reference for a new job. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, can you honestly? This is have a little fun with this. When you do that Monday morning, can you also say like Sally Fields? You know, uh, see, it's powerful. 
It's beautiful. I, it's I, warm. Honestly, it's got I so much depth. To be powerful, I want to, I want to embrace the Me Too movement <laughs> and start using the C word like it's water. <laughs> The best, the best audience in the business. Thank you for listening to the show on Really Big Something Channel. 153 here on the great WRKO. Uh, 617-266-6868. We're going to continue to take your calls as the fallout from Hollywood now giving Samantha B an award last night. Championing her as a heroine of the hashtag Me Too movement and saying that her show is, quote, inspirational for uh, millions of people around the country and the world. You can also text us, WRKO, so we know it's for us, the message 7470, 70470. Uh, this is from 781, uh, WRKO. Are you kidding me? Fox News will not touch this with a 10-foot pole. No, when I say take up the Roseanne Barr show, I don't mean Fox News. I mean Fox, as in, you know, Fox, the Fox Network. I, I don't know, on my direct TV, it's Channel 25. So, you know, Fox Entertainment. If not, Sinclair. I mean, there's others that can pick it up. And I think whoever picks it up now, with the way Hollywood's going wild... With the massive double standard and hypocrisy, the way Roseanne is now being viewed as a martyr, I think the show, if anything, would be an even bigger success than it was with ABC just a few weeks ago. Just my opinion. Uh, David in Boston, you're up next. Go ahead, David. Hello, David. Hear me. I can hear you. For some reason, Brittany keeps overshooting... I call for somebody. You're on line five. She goes to line six. She's been doing that now for the last hour. Uh, Brittany, have we been getting ready for the weekend a little bit early there, uh, Brittany? No? No, I'm sorry. All right. Okay. Just, just teasing. Just teasing. David, the floor is yours, my friend. Go. Thank you. Brittany's a busy girl, and she's doing a great job. But I, I called to let her know this has been driving me crazy, and I think you guys actually have it wrong. And I take issue with some of the previous callers about the C word. Um, it's allowed right now or the Samantha B who I, I don't know these people. I've never heard of this woman before. She can say that and get away with it because it's already cool to do that. Every, everyone seems surprised that they don't hear this word. I hear it a lot, unfortunately, like I hear the N word. We heard Sally Field. Oh, this C word is now empowering and stuff like that. It's not. It's gross. It's just a bad word. Don't use it. Be nice to people. But it's already allowed in Hollywood, this kind of stuff. This is why I, I haven't had a TV in 15, 20 years. I don't miss it at all. I don't watch TV. I don't know what's going on with that stuff. I mean, I get my news through a variety of, of uh, resources. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know, I, I feel uh, really strongly about that, that Hollywood's already in the gutter. So it, it's like it, that's already been allowed. That's why she's able to say this. Now, David, about, when yeah. you say um, it's already been allowed, do you mean like in Hollywood movies? Do yeah, well, in, 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 well, yeah, in movies, we, we know this. I mean, that, that's evident. And I, I don't enjoy movies. I don't gotten too busy for movies. I have too, too much to do. But in society, it's allowed. It's tolerated, I guess, is what I mean. When when I say it's now, allowed. David, when you're saying like when you're in a social setting, you will hear people refer to women as a C or. Well, I mean, I I have in the past. You won't find this, David, in any social setting where that kind of language is going on. If I hear it, I leave. You know, it's you know. Um, and can I quickly say about the Roseanne Bar? Yes, yes. Go, um, go. I don't think it was necessary. I can't jump into someone's head. I don't think what she said was racist. She is talking, she was making a comparison, and I think what I heard from the tweet or saw it, she's making a comparison about a dystopic fantasy animal-run kingdom from outer space where they are really bad animals. And she was making, you know, I think people, this is pretty crazy, but I, I'm just talking, I'm, I'm really worked up about this because I do feel bad for Roseanne. I think you're, you're, you're right about it. She shouldn't, she shouldn't have been fired. Someone should be able to sincerely ask her for, for Forgiveness and get it. I'm with you. David, I'm with you. I'm really with you. Well, thank you. People make this 
something about apes and monkeys with the, the visage of this animal that is an ape or a monkey with the vicious, the, the visage of an actual person. To me, that is racist. That is crazy that people, I have a 92 year old mother. She calls um, little children monkeys. As have I. You have a three, four, five year old kid. They're swinging around everything, jumping on you. They're running yes. like little monkeys. David, so yes. If you, if you, if you Say something like, oh, these little monkeys are running around. Today, oh, my God, now you're a racist. I think, I, I can't jump into what Roseanne was saying, but I really don't think she's a racist. I do feel bad for her, and uh, I do David, feel like she's going to come back. David. Sorry, Jeff. I just, no, like, no, no. What are you apologizing for? It's a brilliant yeah. call. Uh, David, <laughs> okay. uh, is this your first time calling? No, I've actually called before. Okay. Don't, David, yeah. don't be a, st my friend, don't be a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> call again. Oh, okay. thank you. All right. Thank and you for that call, David. Uh, sure, sure. Take God bless you. Bye. I mean, look, my, my Ashton, I mean, I, I call him Bunny because he runs around like a, but I've also often called him Monkey, my little monkey. It's just when he was three, now nah, he's a bit different. He's eight. But when he was three, four, five, he's jumping, he's running, he's swinging from things, his arms are flying. That's why I called him my little monkey. It's not a racist. Now you're saying, well, your son is white. Well, if I had adopted a black boy, to be honest with you, I would treat him the same. I'm not even thinking of racism. It's cute, like a little monkey. It's affectionate. So to me, this obsession with, you know, a, a face with a gorilla, it's, to me, it shows how the left is racist, to be honest with you. But anyway, okay, the Boston Globe now defends Judge Feely. Oh, oh you got to hear it to believe it. But first... President Trump is meeting with a top North Korean official at the White House right now. Evan Heidenrich is following it. He's in the WRKO newsroom. Take it away, Evan. Thank you for listening to the show on Really Big Something Channel.